so 10th class students we are starting with the first chapter that is chemical reactions and equations in this chapter what we are going to study is for how what is an equation why should be uh, how to write an equation then after writing the equation how to be balanced then why should we balance a chemical reaction etc then different types of reactions we'll start with the what is an equation actually what is an equation actually it is a representation of chemical reactions what type of a representation it is a quantitative representation means a equation will give you all the informations you want that is the reactants the products how much reactants are reacting under what conditions it is reacting everything will be shown in a chemical equation so it is a quantitative representation of a chemical reaction showing all the reactants and products in the state that is what is a chemical react equation now a chemical equation represents a chemical reaction and a chemical reaction when it uh, completed we will start when it is react reaction is uh, equation is written you must know the formula of the reactants and the products how to write formula of equation uh, the compounds that we have already studied in ninth class that is if it is magnesium sulfate we will write that that magnesium then sulfate number of charge for magnesium is 2 number of uh, charge for sulfate is 2 so since both are same number we write the formula of magnesium sulfate as mgso4 sodium chloride sodium it is na chloride it is cl both charge this one the formula of sodium chloride is nacl barium chloride it is ba barium chloride cl barium it is 2 then chlorine it is 1 so it is it is ba cl2 that already we have studied in our uh, ninth class now we are going to study is how to write an equation if you are given the reaction suppose zinc reacts with the sulfuric acid to give zinc sulfate and hydrogen zinc reacts with the sulfuric acid reacts with the sulfuric acid sulfuric acid sulfuric acid to give zinc sulfate and hydrogen to give zinc sulfate zinc sulfate and hydrogen and hydrogen this is the reaction given and now was how to write it the equation which are the reactants in this reaction zinc is reacting with the sulfuric acid so our reactants are zinc and sulfuric acid to give zinc sulfate and hydrogen that means the products are zinc sulfate and hydrogen so now we know the reactants and products reactants are zinc and sulfuric acid and the products are zinc sulfate and hydrogen now we will start by the scalar equation zinc formula is zn plus sulfuric acid we know that it is h2 so for sulfuric acid to give zinc sulfate if you know the formula you can write if you have any doubt on one side you can write zinc sulfate number of charge for zinc it is 2 sulfate to since both are same it is zn so for plus hydrogen now it is written now we we'll have to balance how to balance this equation write number of atoms in each side is it then 1 hydrogen 2 sulfur 1 oxygen 4 all reactants we have written products zinc 1 then hydrogen 2 sulfur 1 oxygen 4 now you see here in this equation all the numbers are the same so that means the equation is already balanced now what we do is so it is a balanced equation now now we have to write the state of the substance zinc is solid in state 
Sulfuric acid usually it is an aqueous solution. So we will write it as aqueous. Then zinc sulfate is, will be also in dissolved state. So we will write the zinc sulfate aqueous. And hydrogen is a gas. So we write it to gas. So this is how we represent this reaction. Zinc reacts with the sulfuric acid to give zinc sulfate and hydrogen. This is the complete representation of this reaction. Now another reaction. Calcium reacts with or calcium oxide. Dissolves in water to form calcium hydroxide. Calcium oxide. Calcium oxide. Oxide reacts with the water. Reacts with the water to form calcium to form calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide. Hydroxide. Now again we will identify the reactants and products. Reactants are calcium oxide and water. Product is calcium hydroxide. Calcium oxide. Formula CaO. Water H2O. Then calcium hydroxide is CaOH twice. Because calcium, calcium hydroxide, calcium it is number of charge 2 or hydroxide 1. So if you write it, it is CaOH twice. So that's why I have written calcium hydroxide. Now again we will see calcium it is 1, oxygen 1 here and 1 here. So it is 2, hydrogen 2. Here calcium 1, oxygen 1 into 2. So oxygen 2, hydrogen 1 into 2, hydrogen also 2. So here also they are balanced. That means this equation is already balanced. Now we will have to write the state. Calcium oxide is solid in state. Water is a liquid and calcium hydroxide is aqueous. So it is this. This is how we apply this reaction. Now another example. Iron reacts with the steam to form iron 2, iron 3 oxide and hydrogen. Iron reacts with the reacts with the steam steam to form iron 2 iron 2 iron 2 iron 3 iron iron 3 oxide iron 3 oxide both iron 2 and iron 3 together so and hydrogen and hydrogen hydrogen this is so iron is the reactant steam is also reactant product is iron 2 iron 3 oxide so mixer oxide and hydrogen gas so we start with the how to write iron is fe steam it is a gaseous form of water so h2o to form iron 2 iron 3 oxide iron 2 oxide FeO, Fe is iron 2, oxygen also 2, so here it is FeO. Iron 3 oxide, FeO, iron 3, oxygen 2, so it is Fe2O3. So FeO and Fe2O3, together we can write Fe3O4. So we write it as here, Fe3O4 plus hydrogen. Now the reactants and products we have written. Now here iron Fe1, hydrogen 2, oxygen 1, here iron 3, oxygen 4, hydrogen, hydrogen 2. Now here only iron, iron here 3 iron, so to make it 3, we will write, multiply this iron with the 3, so 3 Fe. Now hydrogen here 2, there also 2, so hydrogen not balance, no need to balance. Oxygen here 1, there 4, that means 
we will have to take 4 water molecules. From 1 water molecule we get only 1 oxygen. So 4 water molecules. Now we have 4 into 8 hydrogen. So here 8 hydrogen now. The only 2. So if you take multiply this by 4. 4 into 2 it will also become 8. So now you see all are balanced. Iron is now here also 3. There are also 3. Here 4 into 8 hydrogen. 8 hydrogen here, 8 hydrogen there. Then oxygen 4 here, oxygen here also 4. So now it is balanced. Now we will write the state of the substance. I am, we know that it is solid in state. Now water, it is steam. So you have to put gaseous. Fe3O4 also solid and hydrogen is a gas. Now this is a balanced equation. Okay, now examples and uh, how to write more and more examples I will send you by uh, in your uh, WhatsApp. So complete all those balancing.